A lot of Coloradans have never even heard of the Taxpayer's Bill of Rights or TABOR. It was added to the Colorado Constitution in 1992, and it has a big impact on how we fund schools, public safety, and roads ever since. Let's go over the basics. Because of TABOR, Colorado is the only state in the nation where our elected officials cannot raise taxes without voter approval. They can't adopt a new tax, can't increase a tax rate, or can't increase the percentage of property that is taxed without voter approval. Under TABOR, any tax policy change that results in new revenue must go to voters. TABOR specifically limits the types of taxes Colorado is allowed to have. TABOR specifically forbids a graduated income tax. For 1987, Colorado had a progressive or graduated income tax that imposes higher marginal tax rates as income rises. This is the same system most states use and the same system the federal government uses. Tabor also forbids a statewide property tax, bans real estate transfer taxes, and outlaws local income taxes. Tabor also sets a limit on how much government spending can grow each year. There is a cap which allows spending to grow no more than inflation and population each year. So if prices go up 2% and population goes up 2%, spending can grow by 4%. The amount collected in taxes and fees must stay below that cap. If the government collects more taxes and fees than the cap allows, it returns the money above the cap to the taxpayers in the form of TABOR rebates. For example, the state exceeded the revenue cap by about $154 million in 2015. The average taxpayer got about $17 back from the state. TABOR also sets rules on how tax increase proposals are presented to voters. For example, any tax increase on the ballot has to start with the phrase, in all capital letters, shall taxes be raised. This language is then followed by a number representing the total amount of revenue that will be raised by taxes in the first year. This video was brought to you by the Colorado Fiscal Institute.